Today's project is a water pump from a, an AD41 turbo diesel, the circulating pump. What happened is a man, he lost his uh, impeller, not his impeller, his seal. The seal is really not that easy to get to and there's a trick to making it happen. He tried it once and he broke it. Just to give you an idea what this thing looks like. Inside there is the seal. I don't know if you can see that, but anyway, that is a trick to get that out and in. First, what we're gonna have to do is press this all out. These parts would come off. So what'll happen is that this shaft will get pushed through this way. That'll, that'll relieve this part is on a shaft uh, let's just get going on it uh, we'll see how it goes I've never done this before but I think I can make it happen for the man I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but it seems like it may work first what I had to do is take my pipe bender and replace the jack I'm gonna put this part in between here and press out the shaft okay let's get to it Okay, here we go. We got it all set up. I got the bolts out, out of the top. It's on the stand. Have to make sure it's got clearance to travel through. Okay, let's see how it goes. As you can tell, I'm starting to make it move. It's coming up. Looking pretty good. So here we see, there's the seal down there. See it's broken yeah when they installed it you put it in uh, he was compressing things in the wrong direction there's a piece of the seal that came out okay uh, that part cost around 60 bucks the whole unit cost probably around 800 bucks that's brand new uh, you could probably rebuild this whole pump for probably uh, less than 150 bucks if you want to go the cheap way you could probably all these pieces are reusable anyway uh, whatever you decide you want to do but here it is if you have a problem taking it apart this is the way to go so far here you can see all the parts are broken on the inside on this seal this piece is like a ceramic and it goes there and it's spring loaded uh, we'll just take apart some more and we'll see where we go so there it is. Here's the parts that, are, that came out. I had to use the drift to remove it entirely, but it was easy. That would just tap right out simply. And here's, here's with this part removed. And now, what you need to do is try to get this seal out, which is really not all that hard. You may be able to get by just using a paint can remover. Just grab it on the inside and just tap it out easily do not destroy anything and then once you get it to loosen up a little bit you could go through the pookie here and just grab the edge you can see the edge right there maybe you can maybe you can't but anyway uh yeah that comes out you could also try to remove it by removing the bearing that's inside too if you were going to replace it but uh just do one thing at a time here it is with the seal removed. You notice it had that blue stuff. That blue stuff is a seal that's built onto the new seal. Anyway, it should be cleaned off. And uh, yeah, this seal was a little bit difficult to get out, but just be careful. Okay. Next thing is to turn around and remove this piece. Uh, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna press this piece off of the shaft. The seal goes on and then this wheel goes on afterwards now I'm going to remove the uh, impeller from the shaft pressed on the shaft onto this piece here and it sits flush in the front. Now I'm going to assemble this back into the pump 
and I want to make sure I did not push this bearing out so I'm going to make sure that's all the way down it's a new bearing don't need to replace it it's a sealed bearing got all pretty much complete just waiting for the seal uh, pressing that seal in is going to be probably making a part to make this all happen um, it's important this piece here will get pressed on last because we want to maintain a clearance between here and here here and here I received the new part today there it is this is a Volvo part which I like because this this piece has a blue strip of sealant on it if you get the aftermarket ones you're gonna have to put sealant on this area here um, what I had to make is this and what this does is it pushes this onto that so it's nice and square uh, you, you notice the new part has got a spring on it and it flexes so much so what you need to do is push these both this whole piece on together at one time so you're not compressing just the one part because it sits on there's a lip inside this thing that gives it resistance and makes it sit tight on this shaft so what I did is I fabricated this piece that is just a little bit broad so if I push down I'm pushing on both the pieces at the same time so well, let's put it together so I'm gonna first I'm gonna put a little bit of grease on this just for to make that help slide that on easier I was set up you want to take time to line this up pretty close that you don't want to screw up at the last minute uh, we'll see how this goes it's all pretty much in line as you can tell it's looking pretty good so I don't know let's squeeze it as you can see the flange is all the way down onto the uh, cast piece it's looking really pretty good I'm all the way down check this side too yep see it's sitting really pretty nice we're good okay now we put the wheel on the new seal installed and yeah, same came came out pretty nice we still have some flex in this piece which will be taken up when we put on the wheel and we're looking really pretty good okay now we're going to put the wheel on and that'll uh we just got to make sure that we have the clearance between here and the and the veins here's the wheel we're going to put on um i wiped the grease off the shaft because it's supposed to be a dry fit and a nice tight fit so we're going to place this on and what we will do is we'll put that in the press we may need this part here that i made to pick up the clearance we'll see okay this is the most important part up to now this is the last important part so we're going to press this on we make sure it's lined up pretty nice and we give it a go okay, we press this set up it's going on nice looking good okay so what you see is that the the wheel is put on but I can't go down any further I still need to travel down more uh, so that's what this part is for so that's the next step okay so far looking really pretty good you see the space between the, the vein and the surface that's about an eighth of an inch and I'm going to place these underneath the vein this is approximately 40 thousandths the important thing is not to exceed it if you exceed that space it's going to be a problem so what you really need to find out which I am not certain on what the spacing is supposed to be uh, I've read someplace anywhere between 10 thousandths and 35 thousandths. Right, right now that's 45 thousandths. 
I can always go more, but I can't go less. So right now, that clearance is 45 thousandths. Uh, I have to double check to see what the actual numbers are. Um, before I go any further, I'm going to stop here until I find out exactly what it's supposed to be and how close. You see how it's like recessed up on the top? That's what that pin was about. Uh, you definitely do not want to go too far. If you go too far, you're in trouble. This is just a way of showing you how this thing goes together. I don't recommend, <laughs> I recommend you trying it. Um, it'll save you a lot of money. So I just got the correct information on what the size is supposed to be. We're looking at, it's supposed to be around 25 thousandths. So, when I'm around 45, I need to bring it down another 40, you know, no, another 20 thousandths of an inch. Anyway, uh, so I, I made a tool so I can't ex cannot exceed, so when I push it in, it'll be that size. So, it's pretty important. Uh, somebody said a hacksaw blade would work. You know, it's because it's around, you know, 25 thousandths. Anyway, this is what the new thing is. Just need to make sure this thing turns freely. It's not hitting or binding any place. So here is the completed pump. Got my 25 thousandths. It's all good. It spins nice and freely. It's all good to go. Thank you for watching. Good luck.